Hi guys, Ashantin here. How are you? I have had a lovely time in life in the woods. I have been doing small tasks that I think have just added um, to my little area. For example, behind now that I have a silk touch shovel, that's a difficult one to say, uh, you can see that I have changed the glass behind me here uh, to match the rest of the house. And I think it looks a little bit more appropriate for this style of house than the rather basic glass I had. And of course I've been able to, set, to save all the blocks of glass uh, that I had. Other things I've been doing, um, I found I had a rather a nice... Ooh, sorry. Rather a nice area outside here. I was faffing around with this front bit. I have leveled this off and I was thinking about putting tubs of flowers all along the edge here. But I don't think it's going to look very good. I've tried different colored tubs and I'm not sure I like it. So I think I might just put carpenter's blocks all along, including the red bit. Uh, because I've used carpenter's blocks here on this path which is new and now that I have the silk touch shovel uh, covering them in earth and grass has given a lovely look to it. I know a friend of mine MJ the one thing he wants above all else is half slabs in earth and it makes such a difference. I've been working on this lake quite subtly. It I can see it from my front door and I have actually added more flowers on that hillside. I have put some of the water lilies I've been collecting into this little part and I've added a few more flowers and a bit more feathery grass all around. I've also added these rather nice European burried. If I see any more of those I'm going to get them. They're very very pretty for lakes and flowers. So this is a new path and I like it very much. Starting to expand through the whole area as one does. So that's all work in progress. I have been building a railway and there is one particular corner I am actually disguising it because it's rather brutal. So I've grown this beautiful cherry tree just there. I'm going to grow more trees down here. I'm just deciding what to grow at the moment. I wasn't sure whether willow trees would grow, but they do. I've grown one on this side, one on that, which hides a lot, and they look absolutely gorgeous and are hiding that rather horrible hillside. And as you will remember, I was putting hanging vines to see if I could cover some of the brutality and I may have overdone it. It's looking quite spectacular up there. It's going to look amazing when it all comes down. So that was an experiment that worked and it does grow down the cliff. So all our hillside gardening. And then up there, can you see where my cursor is? This railway goes round a corner and that corner is accessible by mobs, friendly mobs and unfriendly ones. And there's a particular pig likes walking onto the track. A friend of mine, Dog, uses bamboos as fence and I thought that was a really good idea so I put some bamboo up there and not only does it stop the mobs coming onto the track um, but it also I think provides a little bit of interest in that hillside. These hillsides are so boring um, but they won't be by the time I've finished. The garden over here continues to expand um, that is a self-planted tree, which I'm quite happy with. And growing leeks, cows, everything. Nice little rows of vegetables, all looking very, very much sorted out. So this is all good stuff. So uh, you can have so much fun faffing about the small things. I think one of my next tasks is going to be to raise these on carpenter's fences and uh, make them look a little bit more like lampposts. I think that would be a very good look. Um, I have actually moved a tree from the front of here and I have planted this tall white cherry instead and I planted a pink one behind just to keep the whole 
lovely look of it going and I do like the view down to the lake from there so it's all coming together quite well inside um, I have been experimenting a bit more I've put up two of the hanging plants I had uh, filched or stolen if you're not with, you know familiar with that English word uh, from some of the villages I visited and they are huge but I think they look quite wonderful hanging here against this, uh, is it granite? Basalt cobblestone, yeah. I've moved the presser. I will explain that in a moment. I'm going to have to build another one. And I have extended, I'm going to build one of these um, management, drawer management blocks to put in here. And that should manage the drawers all the way around if I bung another one, a relay station, whatever it's called in the corner. But I've started to add in nuts because I wasn't sure how the oven worked. But a friend of mine, the dog miner, has done a video and it's quite obvious that it works. One of the things it works on is vegetable oils. I don't know if I've shown you this, but I now have a market and one emerald seems a lot to pay, but it's a a rather nice fancy block and I'll see how I get on with saplings doing quite well here and seeds and then we'll see where we come to here I have a pottery table and I have been making these large flower pots I'm not quite sure how to access them oh <laughs> <laughs> not like that. Um, I've been watching Fedron's um, videos right from the beginning. Oh gosh, that doesn't go very well. To try to um, pick up from her how she accesses them. So I'm starting at the beginning of her Life in the Woods series and working through. I know I can get five in here. It's just a question of where. Huh. Okay, I have to come back to that later. I am having trouble with this sort of thing. Maybe I have to stand on here to access it. Wow, what was that? Maybe I'd walked into the... No? Okay. Something's hurting me there. Let's pop these back in here. We'll sort that out later. As I said, I'm watching your Fedron's videos to try and pick up how to access them. Let me put that in there, in with the hanging plants, because I'm going to use some more of these. There There's plenty of hanging plants, and they all look gorgeous. So that's all nice fiddling around stuff that I've been enjoying doing enormously. And then up here... Um, I have found out that beehives work indoors, which I wasn't sure about. I think I might put a, a hanging plant or two there. And I've got some shelves there to, to put things attractively on. So I have made an apiary here. So I've got one apiary here that's powering away. I've got one apiary here that's powering away. And then I'm making, well, I'm not making, but I'm we're producing queen bees and grubs. Um, I found out how to make the grubs work. You put the queen bee into a crafting bench, she produces royal jelly. You put the grub with the royal jelly, it produces a bee, you put it in the apiary. That's all good stuff. And in here, I'm using the presser up here because frankly, producing bees, wax and honey is very, very useful for me at the moment. So that is all coming together, I think, very, very well. So I'm happy with that. Um, I think that all in all, all I've done have been sort of little things, but fiddling around with these little things is really, really enjoyable. I have also killed an enderman, so I have an ender pearl. So I am going to go back. Oh, we have a burning creeper. Couldn't have you to a nicer guy. Go back in. Burn again. We like that. So basically the hillside over there is looking pretty good and it's all stuff that I'm loving. I'm really, really enjoying myself here. I have more diamonds than I know what to do with 
and I've also now built up on iron a bit. So we are a little bit more um, sorted out than we were, which is all to the good. So this is a very small, short video, um, but just to say that I did get a little bit tired of uh, the sort of strain of going through the nether, and so I decided to play around with nice things like flower pots and bees and garden paths and all sorts of things that most of us who play life in the woods absolutely love. And so on that note, guys, I'll say bye-bye.